So, you're sick and tired of Discord, it's data mining, and it's general profit-driven corporate bullshit, but you still want to watch copyrighted media with your friends online. Not a problem. First, install Docker. If you're on Linux, just find it in your package manager. On Windows, click the first link in the description and install it from there. Then you want to open a bash terminal or PowerShell and type the following. If you're having troubles copying and pasting directly from a YouTube video for some reason, it is in the description. Quick little explanation though, first, since you don't ever want to run random console lines given to you by weirdos on the internet without knowing what it does. Tiangolo slash nginx dash rtmp is the location of the docker image that we'll be using to quickly install nginx, set up with the rtmp protocol, in a containerized environment that will be nice and secure and won't be a real vulnerability for your host computer. nginx will be its name. Dash p 1935 colon 1935 is telling it to send anything on port 1935 in the containerized environment to the same port on your host computer, letting your computer act as a bridge to your router. Dash D means detached, so you can still work in the same terminal while it's running if you want to. And run tells it to run. Note that if you're using Linux, you do have to do this with root permissions, so make sure to stick that sudo in there. In Windows, make sure to run your PowerShell as administrator. Next, you're going to have to open your router settings, log in as admin, and find either port forwarding or virtual servers, and forward port 1935 on the IP of your host on which you're running Docker. If you don't know what that IP is, type ifconfig into your terminal, or get net IP address in PowerShell. And it'll tell you, it'll probably start with 192.168 or else 10.0, and then some other stuff after that. Next, you just got a stream. Now there's a few different ways you can do this, but personally, I open OBS and set it up to stream the video and audio from the window that I want. Quick note, if you're on Linux, at least for the moment, streaming audio from a single window is not supported without a plugin. So make sure to grab a plugin called OBS-Pipewire-Audio-Capture. Link is in the description. After this, you'll want to know your own public IP. Go to whatismyip.com and jot that down. Open up your OBS settings and tell it to stream to rtmp colon slash slash localhost slash live, and then the key to whatever you like. Start streaming. Now, tell your friends to open up the browsers and simply navigate to rtmp colon slash slash followed by your public IP address that you just got from whatismyip.com, followed by slash live, and then slash the key that you put into your OBS settings. For example, rtmp colon slash slash 198.8.92.80 slash live slash punch Nazis. One more thing, they will need to have a media player on their machine that can view live streams. VLC will do this just fine. That'll open as soon as they hit enter, connect to your computer, and then you can press play. That's it. That's all. Something you can do to make this even easier in the future is to have that Nginx Docker image run as soon as you boot up the computer. I admit I don't know how to do this on Windows, but on Linux you can set up a systemd service to do it for you and enable it. I'll put a link on how to do that in the description as well. Then all you've got to do is start streaming from OBS and give your friends a link every time you want to watch a new pirated movie. You're done. And you're one step closer to full digital freedom. One last note, since you're streaming to everyone who's watching you individually, this is taxing on your internet upload speed. If things start getting choppy for them, open up your stream settings in OBS and decrease your bitrate. That's it. That's all. Happy streaming!